You want to open the box first? Okay. You think yeah. it's got your name on it? Right, -o, let's do this. I can't open the box. If I can. <laughs> you just met me at a barbecue. Tell me what you do for a living. Uh, usually what I say is I work for a John Deere dealer as a technical communicator. I'm the person that the, the technicians will call or the customers will call when they simply can't go any further, when they literally don't have any avenues left to go to. Which is basically the midpoint between a dealer's technicians and the John Deere um, factory experts. I keep hearing about connected support. Explain it to me like I'm 12 years old. You can keep audience. track of all your toys and see where your siblings have taken them and put them and make sure that they are being looked after. Mm. That's, that's pretty good. <laughs> My 12 year old son's he's big on Instagram reels. He loves them. Connected support is like the piece of equipment is sending reels that it thinks is are funny or bad to the dealership. So the dealership can also watch them. I think that's, <laughs> you'd get that. That'd probably make it through. Yeah. So. <laughs> What's your favorite piece of John Deere equipment? Oh, usually all the green ones. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, probably the 9770 combine. Oh, okay. It was just so reliable. I think I like anything big and complicated, to be honest. Sprayers are doing it for me at the moment. 7R210 because it's the easiest to find in Service Advisor. <laughs> I like 100 series, 800 series tractor. Mine would be the combines because there's so much technology. For me, it's got to be the motor grader. I kind of like sprayers. Um, you know, we, we've got some pretty good technology going on in the sprayers. But then again, I don't mind uh, working with all the products, really. If you could have one item with you on a desert island, what would it be? I wouldn't have a clue. <laughs> Satellite phone to ring someone. Probably a shed and everything that goes with it. Yeah, I don't know. My uh, phone, a flare gun, get me off it. Um... I think for me, I'd just have a boat. <laughs> turn around and go back home. <laughs> That'd fix it pretty quick. Is it true a tech can turn up with the right parts due to remote diagnostics? 100%. Yeah, 100%. Yes, it can because you already done half the diagnostics behind the scene. You know, from a, a quick phone call, we can pick the error code, we can talk him through some basic diagnostics, um, and we can find the failed part. It's always nice for the farmer, for a tech to turn up prepared as well. They know that they've, you know, obviously looked into that issue before they got there and um, if they can, yeah. Saves down, a lot of time. Downtime the better. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. How can you predict issues in equipment before they happen? Well, our connected support features are pretty amazing. We've got expert alerts, we've got code monitoring, we've got machine health, we've got all of the connected tools that we can utilize through John Deere. Expert alerts, a really good, good one for that. Um, obviously it gives you a, a bit of a warning it not, not necessarily always a, an issue, but it gives that chance for that customer to, to engage yeah. in a repair or... Sometimes you don't even have to go out there. You know, and we, and we proactively help customers, you know, we're able to pull those problems before their problems. Does your mum understand what you do for a living? <laughs> no. I'm not sure I understand what I do. <laughs> My mum's not the most technical person, but... Uh, not a tractor operator. Not a tractor operator. Doesn't even have a smartphone. What's the furthest away a customer has been that you've helped with connected support? How far is PNG, Papua New Guinea? Probably about two, two and a half thousand k's away because uh, okay. <laughs> uh, our location is quite uh, remote. So most of our customers, three, 400 kilometers. Yep. That's where our branches are. So, yeah. but yeah, probably the furthest one was about two thousand k's. What's the best feedback you've received from customers using connected support? speed the the time it takes for help to get out there and the time it takes for diagnosing problems that's usually the the first thing they said wow that was quick yeah absolutely mm. yep um yeah that saving that downtime the customers are always yeah forever be grateful in a few months i actually had a customer invite me to his wedding he had a machine break down um four o'clock in the afternoon the guys got on the phone uh, we were able to identify the problem pretty quick and, you know, obviously using our remote support features on the machines. I was on a motor grade specifically. The guy was able to do some checks over the phone for us. Um, the next day, the workshop was there. They fixed the machine before we actually had to start work. So there was minimal downtime and he invited me to his, uh, his wedding. So I was pretty, um, I was pretty, pretty stoked for that. I actually did go. So it was a, 
yeah, it was a good wedding. It was a great wedding. <laughs> Very good. Is it true a John Deere customer can monitor the equipment uh, while sailing through the Mediterranean? As long as you've got a phone signal, you can dial in and see what's happening basically in real time. So, you know, if they've got a fleet of equipment back home uh, and they have operators that operate it for them, uh, they can be watching that pretty much live, uh, you know, within, within, you know, certainly within minutes of, of something happening, they can know about it. What's the biggest pickle you've rescued a customer from using connected support? Probably 2022, 2023. They had all the floods and stuff out around Canamble and you just couldn't access the machines because it was either too wet and everything was underwater. So when a customer's machine started throwing codes, we could see what the codes were, do some live recordings. There was some people that were going out in and out in helicopters, so we were able to ship some parts to him and get his stuff sorted remotely without having to go there because we really couldn't get there. It's hard to get a decent signal at my place, so how will connected support work? Starlink, that's the, <laughs> the quick and easy answer. I think the data uh, requirements for a lot of it are pretty low. Yeah, so if you're you know, trying to get your harvest data, it will just sit on the machine until it's got a decent, up, decent enough signal to send. Yeah. Um, there's been times where we've been on the phone with people and we've made them drive the machine to the top of the hill to help us with these things. What's the funniest chat you've had while helping a customer? The engine was misfiring and um, I asked him to have a look in the fuse box and um, the fuse box was a little bit melted and um, he says, yeah, the engine is crying. I said, well, if the fuse box looks like that, I will also cry. Isn't everyone providing tools like this? What sets John Deere apart? Everyone is providing tools like this. However, not everyone has the same level of support and openness and future-proofing that John Deere does. Connected support, yeah, it's gonna get better and it's gonna to continue to grow with every manufacturer, but yeah, John Deere's been very open about how they build it and sharing it with their customers as a standard. So I think the word integration comes to mind for sure. Agreed. Like Agreed. It's, uh, it's pretty seamless, the amount of resource that we have the amount of connectivity that we have and how it's all accessible in a fairly unique, easy to use platform. It's pretty crazy. Like it's, yeah, it's, it's impressive. Yeah.